Hey guys, welcome to your 10th iOS application tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to push your table views onto new tables. So we could start with a table with this array of animals, and then when we click on it, we'll get an array specifically of these animals. And we could do that for each one. And so I'm going to show you how to do this. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and make a new file, or a new project, sorry single view application I'll say pushing table views create it and all we're gonna do at first like we usually do is we're just gonna work with our storyboard so we're in storyboard and the first thing we wanna do is get rid of our view controller that's already there we don't need that and yeah we'll get rid of our files too so view controller dot h and m we could delete those we'll move to trash now back to storyboard now that it's all cleaned up we have nothing here we'll drag two table views and we're not just dragging table views we're actually dragging table view controllers so it comes with a lot of the methods we'll need already there we're gonna highlight this first one uh, go to our editor and embed it in a navigation controller. So now we have this navigation controller and it's right up at the top. You can't really see it right now, but we'll give it a name. Uh, we'll name it like I did before, animals. And then we're going to click on this prototype cell, drag it to the next table view, and select push. Now that we did that, we have our storyboard set up, but before we finish, I'm going to click on the segue, which is right here, and we're going to give it an identifier. We'll say array detail. And you'll see why we need that later. Next, we need to add some files for both of our views. So we'll go to new file, UI table view controller is the subclass, and I'll say root table view controller and we're also going to add another one and I'm going to name this one second table view controller and create and we're going to highlight our first one right there and we go up to this tab to make its custom class root table view controller and then this one we're going to make its custom class second table view controller. So now this table view is connected to the root and what we're going to do is we're going to add to our implementation NS array animals and over here in view, oops, forgot the pointer in view did load we'll say animals equals NS array array with objects down to here with the ID and nil. I'm going to say uh, dogs, cats, frogs, and gnats. Now that we have that and it has uh, some objects in it, we'll go down and fill out a few more of these methods. And you'll notice since we actually made a table view controller and didn't just put one of these table views in a controller it comes with some methods already uh, we've got all these down here even some commented out ones but we won't really use we'll only use one of those so in this first one number of sections in table view we know we just want one sometimes your program it might change and you might have it be a variable but we only want one and for this table view the number of rows we since we know the size of our array we could just put uh, that number, but just in case our array is going to change, we'll put animals count. So if our array changes, so will the number of rows. And the next thing we're going to do is type some code in here, and it's a lot of typing, and I kind of want to keep this tutorial short, so I'm just going to type it up, and then I'll cut to the end. Alright, so it wasn't as much as I thought it would be. Uh, it's the other table view that's going to be a lot more typing. So basically what I did is I made a table identifier animal cell and then 
we make a cell and here if there uh, is like if the cell doesn't have anything in it because we dequeue it if the if it's empty we create a new one and then we create text for it depending on what row it is and now since I made this table identifier we actually need to go over to main storyboard and click on the prototype cell and we need to give it the same identifier which was animal cell and now that we did that we are done with our root table view ah actually I forgot we have our segue to deal with so down here you'll see uh, void prepare for segue and we're gonna change this method a little bit and I'll uh, come back to you when the typing's done alright so I just finished typing it and you'll see uh, the name of its void prepare for segue and it takes a value segue and uh, right here I put show array detail because back in main storyboard uh, oops uh, actually let's change that a little bit I thought I put show array detail but I guess I just put array detail so now it matches and so these this will be the segue we use is that push segue with that identifier and then the index path is just the uh, row we clicked on and here we have an error saying what, what the heck is this it's because we have to import our other view so we'll say second table view controller Man, I'm really bad at remembering what I need to do and now we just need to change actually we have nothing to change that should do it the reason there's errors here is because it's like uh, there's no information about an animal name in second table view but that's because we haven't done anything yet so we will do that right now but I want to explain this first so we just created um, a table second table view controller object and we called it desk view controller because that's the destination and then we said segue dot destination view controller and right here it's a method and so that returns the segue which was the push and then we say hey uh, we want your animal name to uh, be whatever animal we picked so its animal name is going to be whatever row we picked either dogs cats frogs or gnats and then right here I just put destination view controller dot title equals destination view controller dot animal name and that's just because I want the title to be whatever we picked now in second table view controller we'll say at property non-atomic strong ns string and we'll say animal name because that's what we want and now if we go back to our root table be like hold on there we go it's like okay there's an animal name now so once we click on a row it'll set this animal name to whatever row we clicked on now all we need to do is create a few ns arrays so ns array dogs uh, cats frogs and gnats and then down in view did load uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste from my other one because that'll be a lot quicker so I'll cut back alright there we go so now we have our arrays with all of our names I'm gonna add some spaces and let's see now we come down here we still want only one section in our table view and for these two methods there's gonna be a little more so I'm gonna type it up and then explain it okay so in uh, after our number of sections in table which we want one we have number of rows in section but since we have arrays with different number of objects we can't just say return this or return that so it all depends on the animal name that we got from our root table view controller when we did uh, prepare for segue so if the animal name is equal to dogs we return the uh, amount of rows dogs would need and so on and so forth for cats frogs and gnats and next in the cells for row at index path we uh, gave it a different name because it's going to be a different cell we could use the same name but I just wanted to do this for um, if your code might be a little different than mine and you're tooling around and you have a custom cell you're gonna want it to be the same 
or you're not going to want it to be the same. And then we create a cell, and depending on what the string is, uh, our animal name chosen is, that will decide what the cell equals. So once again, if it equals dogs, we're setting it to the dogs array values and cats and all that. And that should do it. So let's, I'm going to change this to four inch. Let's run it and see what happens. All right, so we have our array and we click on it and you see that we get our dogs with our different dogs. You can see I actually care about dogs, but I'm not much of a cat person and we have our four cats, our three frogs, and our two gnats. So this is how you can use push segues to transfer data from one table view to another and you could do the exact same um, technique where you just uh, change the prepare for segue if you wanted to make an even deeper segue. So like inside Golden Retriever, we had either a table view or a regular view. It could be any view you want as long as you uh, follow those uh, rules for just passing variables. Uh, it could be any type of view. So I could click on Golden Retriever if I wanted to and then get all the information on it. Uh, it's just inside your view or in a, another file if you wanted. You have to keep all the information from those arrays so you can pull it out when you need it. And yeah, that should do it for this tutorial. If you like that I just cut away and then you come back with all the code already there, let me know. Or I could go back to typing it all out and explaining it as I go. So uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.